Canada. Okay, uh, hello everyone. So today I want to talk about uh, gun defense in the front. Of course, we're using a BB gun, okay? Uh, and I want for you to understand what is meant to get out line of fire and what uh, what is will take what it will take for me to get out line of fire. And uh, yeah, let's go into that. Okay, so he holds a gun. Okay, put your finger in the table, please. Good. Now, if somebody come close to me with the gun, okay, and you want to apply the move to get out line of fire, it's not about only how fast you can move the gun out outline of fire. It's not only about that, okay? It's also your body language towards the attacker, okay? Because if I am like that, okay, in that position, I don't even see my legs, okay? I can try to do it fast as possible. If he feels threatened, okay, you will press the trigger much more quicker. So when, you, when I move, press the trigger, okay? the trigger as yeah. possible. That's it. Good. Again. Okay. So it's not going to work completely to my advantage because is my body language is quite not correct towards him. This is one. Now, also, if he feels threatened by me, by my body language, okay, he can take a distance or already press the trigger. And then I'm dead, okay? So let's see what's happened when my body language is not correct towards the attacker. Start to bully me, don't get out from the camera. Okay, go. Give me your fucking money. Give me your fucking money, man. Give me your fucking, what is this? What the fuck is this? Okay, so I can't, okay? I can't be, you know, on ready mode because this is what's happened. Okay, he decided not to press the trigger and to get the distance, fine. Okay, so I can okay? Now, let's see how it look when I'm complying with him and the right body language. And when you feel like to shoot, shoot. If you feel I'm threatening to you, okay? Go. Yes. Just pop the gun again. Sorry. Good. You look at my fucking girlfriend, huh? You look at my fucking girlfriend, huh? Huh? Please. You fucking motherfucker, oh, yeah. huh? Wait! Huh? Right. Press. You see, basically, when I'm submitting the situation, okay, automatically he feel is in control. Meaning, okay, meaning for one second or two, he forgot about this, okay? He now concentrating to humiliating me on his girlfriend or whatever, and I'll submit, and he feel, okay, he's under control. So it means my element of surprise is much better from that or from, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't put your chest, okay? Yeah. That's, that's it. Huh? Please, my man. Huh? No, no, I'm you please. fucking touch my fucking car. Look at that shit. I will pay. Look at that. You will pay. You better fucking pay, motherfucker. Yeah. And then I'm getting out line of fire. Now, out line of fire, it means also not to go back to line of fire quick. Meaning, if I do that, maybe I'm out line of fire for the, for the first second. But the second second, so outline of fire is mean. Okay, please. Huh? No. Give me your fucking money, man. You. Give me your fucking okay, money. Right fucking now. What do you mean? Put that out of your fucking pocket. Wait a minute. Huh? Okay. What the fuck is this? One. He pull. Yeah. It stop. It's mean now I can basically fight. But I'm not going to be in line of fire again. Because that's it. I catch his underarms. I catch the barrel. And that's it. From here now. And start to basically fight. So, before we finish, remember, do not try to play this game on faster. No. Remember, the guy, if the guy decides to come close to you, is very, very, very jumpy, okay? Uh, it's not like a relax, okay? Any fast things you do, it's like, that's it. So if you come close, good. It's not mean it's time to react, okay? If you come close, it's time to submit more. While I'm submitting more, let him to feel more. Another, I don't know, give him another more feeling you're under control. 
I will submit. And then when he talked to me, and I'm talking to him, he concentrating on the conversation and less on the trigger here. Then meaning, when it, we have some uh, dialogue here, conversation, no? What the fuck did you do to my fucking, look at that shit! Okay. You're gonna fucking pay, you better fucking pay, motherfucker! Huh? Give me your fucking card right now! Give me your fucking money! Huh? Give me that shit! Please! Yeah? One, two, three. So it means I have much more chance to go here. Yeah? But if somebody talking to you, huh? What the fuck are you looking at, motherfucker? Look me in the eyes when I fucking talk to you, huh? Look me in the fuck. <laughs> It's, it's not right. Communicate, talk, okay? And then, when you see, again? Okay? Huh? What the fuck are you looking at, I'm motherfucker? Huh? You think, think you're fucking Billy Big no, Boss? No, huh, no, motherfucker? No. Give me no fucking shit, motherfucker. How much? Huh? Give me, how give much? me. What do you mean, how much? What the fuck is in this fucking pocket, huh? I'll give you what the fuck? You, want. you, you better fucking give me. Hey, stay, hey, 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 hey. Stay down. So, this is. In my humble opinion, the way to apply gun defense. Now, I just want to finish with the, a lot of people who send me a message about this warrior, these Marines managed to disarm the gun from the attacker. First of all, we salute him and God bless him for the action. But it's not the way now to start to learn this is not the right way of disarming the gun. You need to understand when you're watching a video, you need to watch the full picture. The full picture, if I'm not mistaken, uh, okay, it'd be something, you mm -hmm. want the gun? Mm -hmm. Just be careful of your finger. It'd be something like that, then you lunge forward. Now, the problem I see there is the attacker, okay, managed to run out. Or can it be more for from uh, one attacker? That's fine, no problem. The problem is if the attacker managed to run, okay, it means he don't have a full control on the attacker. It means he have, okay, a luck, basically a luck, when he done, I don't know how he done, when he done that, the gun be on the floor or he managed to take the gun out. But that is happened not often. Okay, most of the CCTV footage, when person try to fight on the gun, the other guy managed to pull. Okay, so again, I salute him, my God bless him, amazing. It's amazing, it's work for him, but it's not something now, okay, it's happened one in a million, let's everybody learn that. Remember, the attacker managed to run, okay? Meaning, the control not be there uh, at all. Okay, thank God the gun, the gun get out from the hands, but it could be finished also much more uh, uh, worse because it could be happen when he does that and the attacker pull the gun out there, then it can be a little bit different story, okay? So again, anything you can have the control, okay, is better. So I hope it helps you. God bless. Kala system.